It's another depressing day. At least half the channels I subscribe to have been demonetized in the past week and a half. This is a mass coordinated attack. It's uh, not just coordinated by YouTube and it's uh, obviously fascistic trust and safety council. How many times we're going to mention fascist trust and safety councils? No, it's not just them. It's a coordinated with the uh, mainstream media. It's coordinated with the Wall Street Journal. It's coordinated with BuzzFeed. And it is strictly political. It has nothing to do with safety. It has nothing to do with uh, graphic content. It has nothing to do with bullying or harassment. There is only one reason why guys like Count Dankula, John Ward, uh, probably eventually Six Hex and Hammer, he hasn't said so yet, uh, the reason why all these channels are getting demonetized, Aster, shut the hell up, is because they are conservative, or at the very least, anti, not leftist, Aster, shut your fucking mouth. Not anti, uh, not even anti-leftist or whatever, it's just anti-progressive. How many times do I have to tell you, all progressives lie, all progressives are evil, all progressives are sadistic, sexist, racist, classist, every kind of bigoted you can imagine, all progressives are everything wrong with the human nature. They are the embodiment of evil. Not metaphorically, literally. So, every time I ask myself, why do I do this? Well, I do what I do because I can afford to do what I do, which is to do whatever I want on this channel with the least production value possible <laughs> because I am lazy and because I never intended to make money here. And at first, the reason why I chose not to was perhaps out of fear of not being good enough, not being talented enough, not being funny enough, not wanting to go through the work, obviously. Although I have worked on making more sense, being more concise, being able to do stream of consciousness, You'll notice that most of the channels you watch probably have a thousand jump cuts of video. I have none. So I have been working a little bit. But the real reason why I should have been afraid is because the people who do work hard, the people who do produce quality content, the people who do go through all the trouble, the dozens of hours of editing, guys like Chris Reagan, guys like Count Dankula and John Ward who produce hilarious high quality content, they are completely demonetized and disrespected, not because they weren't good enough, but because they were wrong thinkers. It feels strange to this day. How many times did we hear, oh, quit your 1984 references, they're so hyperbolic. Don't call the left evil, that's not true. There's a difference between progressives and regressives. The Democrats aren't regressive, they're mainstream. There's no such thing as a real left wing in America. It's more like there's no such thing as a right wing worldwide, except for in places like, I guess, Brazil, here in America, maybe some other countries, I don't know. But there's no left wing, no, excuse me, there's no right wing in Europe to speak of, you have uh, Democrats and then you have commies, and that's what you got. No conservatives to speak of, no fiscal conservatives, everybody's spending money like crazy, bankrupting each other, trying to centralize all the money. But we can't talk about any of that. We can't talk about the socialists who are ruining social culture. We can't talk about the communists who are ruining, ruining uh, economic culture. We're just stuck here with um, people committing antitrust violations to shut down companies that are their competitors, and of course, YouTube, Google, hiring pieces of fucking subhuman dog shit who don't play fair, who violate their own terms of service, and who on purely, and I do mean purely, not even ideological, just political grounds, are censoring all conservatives off of YouTube. And they've taken over Patreon, who was the alternative to YouTube when the adpocalypse started. And then we try to move on to si uh, Subscribe uh, Star and Patreon, Stripe, and MasterCard illegally, and I do mean literally criminally, colluded to shut down a competitor in complete violation of American antitrust laws. But 
Apparently nothing's going to be done about this. The black pill, dude, is the only pill that's left to take. It's over. Subhuman scum by the thousands. Their minds, their weak, low IQ minds just melted by progressive propaganda. We're all fucked. We're all fucked. Now I'm actually really, really glad I was born in the 80s because I feel fucking sorry for everybody who's born after 2000. They're going to have to live through the fucking nightmare dystopia that's coming. The snowball's rolling too fast to simply just stop somewhere. People aren't going to wake up. Evil is good to these people. It literally is. You know, when I read 1984, I didn't. Th I thought the whole war is peace shit was ridiculous. Nobody would ever buy that. But no, they have. They have already. Progressivism has proved that evil, sadism, greed, hatred, violence are all virtues. Literal fucking virtues to these subhuman scum. That's what you're dealing with right now. This is America.